Happy, happy new year. Happy, happy joy, joy. I hope you made it through the holidays. Look, this is funny because it goes from a, from a monkey to a golfer. <laughs> Today we're doing sleight of hand for Ed G -G 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 Gger, supporter of the cause. Ed G -G -G Gger, thank you so much for your kind support. And also for, these go way back, Pearl Jam Head, I approve of that username, Chris Marl, Jeremiah Sola, Todd Hatfield, Todd Warner, Rasmus Sloth, C.R. Connor 4, Matt B. again. I don't know why I get so happy every time I say that name. And Marlon Taylor. Here we go. All right. This is one of these ones that now that we've done it, or now that we will have done it, I've already done it, of course. <laughs> By the time you're watching this, I'm kind of sad that it's not there to do anymore. So uh, enjoy this one. This one's really great. You're going to want to do this over and over again. A oh, first of all, tune your B string one whole step down to A. So we have E, A, D, G, just like normal. A instead of B and E. Okay, ring finger on A7, pointer finger on D5, and pinky finger on G7. That's a minor 7 shape. You remember it from, or you don't remember it because we haven't done it, but we need to. Zephyr Song by the Chili Peppers. Okay, so starting on the A string. 7, 5, 7, that open, now A string. Now you're going to switch it around to A5, D7, and G6, that's a major 7 shape. That's D major 7, and that open A doesn't, doesn't change that. And now we're going to move it down to, this is not as hard as it seems at first, uh, A2, pinky finger on D4, and middle finger on G2. And then the last one is open A, D2, up to 4, and then open G. That's how I like to do it. Um, I think I saw Stone doing it like this. That's fine too. I find that to be smoother and fancier. Followed by, there's five measures in this phrase. That's why it's confusing and you can't quite really bob your head to it real good. It's in 5-4, so five beats per measure, and there's five measures of, of stuff before it repeats. E3, A5, open D, open G. So, seven, five, seven. Five, seven, six. Two, four, two. The last one. And then the last one. <laughs> See, I got tricked right there. There's five. And the timing on it's really cool. Watch this. So the four notes are four eighth notes. It's going to be one and two and three, four, five. One and two and three, four, five. Hence, five beats per measure. I forget already. Here we go. One and two and three, four, five. 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 Four, five. Four, five. Four, five. Awesome. Next part. All right, the last measure going into the chorus is not five beats, it's six. They tacked on an extra beat so you could kind of start tapping into the regular four count chorus. So you're going to go the G one, right? The last one. One and two and three, four, five, six. And then we need an E minor, but I think it's open E and, a, and then an E power chord here. So A7 and D9. Followed by, this is awesome, it's a B minor. This is going to be the root, though, so leave your pinky there and your pointer finger goes on A5. That's a D note, so a B root, a B root, and a, and a D note, which is B's minor third, and you go muting everything but those two strings down to a regular D power chord. So E, funky B minor, D power chord, three times, of course. can't do an A chord, it would be a major chord, but our B string has been finagled, so it's no longer the right note. It's an A suspended 2 if you do it regular, so just open A, D2, G2, another man. And then the same thing we did with this madness, but we're going to do it on the E string 3rd fret and the 
A string seventh fret, so by the same logic that this was a B minor with its root in the top instead, this is an E minor with its root in the top and its major third on the bottom. <laughs> I think in the album it just rings out on that A, but it seemed that some live times they did a really soft low E there, maybe just the E string, or maybe like a really subtle E power chord there, yeah. So here's the chorus. One, two, three, four. If you like, doesn't matter, you don't have to. And the bridge, the bridge solo bridge, which is a simple matter since we already know the verse, it's kind of almost exactly the same thing, but instead of starting on the seven and fifth frets, we're gonna take this minor seven shape, right? Seven, five, seven, and we're gonna move it up to 12, 10, 12 for an A minor seven, because that's what this 12th fret of the A string is, it's an A. And we're gonna change it relatively the same, 10, 12, 11, and then seven, nine, seven, and then the fourth chord instead of the equivalent of is gonna be our, our D major seven straight from the second chord of the verse. So five, seven, six, open, and here's the bridge. Five, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, and you're back into the verse after twice. So yeah, the bridge is more regular because it only has four uh, measures in its sequence, but it's still in five count. Anyways, those are the pieces for sleight of hand. So now we've done it and we don't have to do it again. Darn. Except for when we do the high octave. That'll be fun. That'll be a quickie because it's it's pretty much the same. It's just a higher octave. So Ed Gigagagur, thank you so much. And uh, everybody else, thank you so much for being here and enjoy that one. It's a great one. And uh, I'll see you next time with more stuff. Happy New Year. <laughs>